been a long time since I cut a name in somebody's head. <laughs> there you go, Aaron. Man, my name is Aaron spelled with one A, not two. Oh, hey, my bad. Let me fix that. All right. There you go. 35 bucks. Man, I ain't paying you. You get me on the rebound. Next time you come through, ain't my fault. They ain't got too many letters on them. Hey, hey, sweetie. <laughs> oh, man, man. Hey, Jay. I ain't seen you this happy since your test results came back negative for that STD. <laughs> That was TB, Smitty, TB. TB as in TB continue. You might still have it. Uh, not even you are gonna mess up my happy mood. I just got word that the shop was nominated for the All Good in the Hood Awards. Bam! All good in what hood? Uh, this hood. I got mugged two blocks from here. What's so good about that? It's an award. I don't get it. Yeah, of course you don't get it. The shop gets it. How come the shop gets it and I don't? I'm the one got mugged. Oh, Lord help him. <laughs> uh, Smitty, the All Good in the Hood Awards is a community award. It honors the best Black-owned businesses in the community. Well, I'm just happy to see you smiling again. <laughs> You've been a real pain in the ass since Dawn left you hanging with nobody to run that beauty salon. Dawn, don't mention her name around here. Uh, you know the new manager that I hired, Cheryl? <laughs> she brought her own clientele Business is booming, lying out the door, all this in two weeks. Not to mention, she finds red wine. Ooh, who you telling? <laughs> oh, I sure like to get a sip of that. A sip? I like to take a swig. <laughs> I guzzle the whole box. I drink her bath water. I eat her toe jam. <laughs> OK. <laughs> See, now, you get me off track here. <laughs> Let's focus on the fact that Jay's Chop Shop has been nominated for the All Good in the Hood Awards. Yeah. <laughs> That really is all good. Oh, my God. Jay, have you heard the good news? <laughs> oh, my God, I can't believe this. I've only been here two weeks. Yeah, Cheryl, <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl, calm down. <laughs> calm down. I, I guess you came over here to congratulate me. <laughs> Jay, the dream weaver, strikes again. <laughs> congratulate you. Yeah. No, you ought to be congratulating me. You? For what? Because thanks to me, our beauty salon just got nominated for an All Good in the Hood Award. <laughs> Dap it up. Wait a minute. Uh, our? Beauty Salon got nominated? That is correct. Our Beauty Salon got nominated. Yeah, well, technically, it's my beauty salon. You just happen to work there. And I think you got it wrong. The barber shop was nominated. <laughs> you know, the place that I run. And it says right here that my shop, Nadine's, was nominated. <laughs> and speaking of, we're going to have to change that name. Yeah, well, that's one thing we can agree upon. But how could that be? Now, do you see that long line of weave recipients at the salon? Yeah, well, that's because we had already established uh, that no, clientele before you got I, here. Because I brought my own clientele, which technically means that it is my business. You should be thanking me, my brother. She got a point there, Jay. Look, Cheryl, I think it's great news. Looks like you and Jay gonna be going head to head in a fight of the century. Sure. I should sell tickets. The props between two shops. The thriller in Hood Miller. The backlash for your black. Hey, hey, hey. Smitty, will you shut up? Well, what's wrong, Jay? You not up for a little healthy competition? Oh, <laughs> uh, I think it's sexy. You do? <laughs> hey, did you say you were single? I did. Very. All right, all right. Single, sexy or not, you're not going to win, Cheryl. <laughs> Jay, I can't believe you getting all worked up on some stupid little award. 
that I'll be winning. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, man. Look like somebody's in a rush. Guess uh, somebody told you the good news that the beauty shop was nominated for All Good in the Hood Award, huh? Ooh, look at all them customers lined up to get wigs. She gonna have to kill a hundred horses. <laughs> look, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say nothing at all. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you acting like that, Jay? You should be happy for Cheryl and the beauty shop. Happy for her? The barber shop was nominated, too. Her nomination lowers my chance in winning. So we were nominated, too? Yes. Oh, man, that's crazy. So either way it goes, it's a win-win for you, Jay. How do you figure, Kenny? Because you own both shops. Yeah. But only one of us can win, and I prefer it to be the barber shop. You know, uh, where I work. Man, look, it's, it's a simple solution. Why don't you just talk to Cheryl and then... And demand that she drops out. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> that's, that's not what I meant. Oh, uh, let him go, Kenny. You know Jay, once he get his mind set on something, ain't no talking to him. But, well, ain't no talking to him anyway. Right. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Yeah? What's up, Kenny? Have you ever been to college? Yep, most boring 10 minutes of my life. So I dropped out. But looking back on it, maybe I should have stayed in. I could have helped the family save the farm. I didn't know your family owned a farm. They didn't. But maybe if I'd have stayed in college, I could have helped them get one. <laughs> what you think about, Kenny? You think about going to school? Yeah, I'm thinking about going to community college, man. I mean, you can learn a lot in a community college, and I'm thinking about majoring in business. That's a good idea. You could help Jay run the business around here. All he seemed to do is run his mouth. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that, but I'm worried if I tell him, man, he's gonna get upset because he already told me he wants me to run the barbershop. I got passed over? I, I can pass it back. Now, look, I always seen the barbershop as a temporary thing, you know? Oh, yeah, no, it's a temporary spot for me, too. Smitty, you've been here for over 20-something years. What are you waiting for? You ain't been listening to my story? I'm saving up to buy my family a farm. <laughs> right, right. Mm. Well, thank you for joining me for lunch. Thank you for inviting me. You are paying, aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. Sit down. What kind of man would I be if I invited an employee to lunch and not picked up the tab? The kind that's up to something. And I'm gonna need you to stop referring to me as an employee. We're partners. Partners? <laughs> I scoff at the accusation. <laughs> you heard that? that that was an audible scoff. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the crap. Talk about what you want to talk about. Yeah. All right. We both know how this is going down. One of us is going to win. That would be me. Yeah, that's it. Well, <laughs> that's uh, not exactly what I was thinking. But in the event something crazy like that happens, I still win because I own the barbershop and the beauty salon together. But you don't run the beauty salon on a day-to-day -day basis. I do. You don't even deal with my employees. I do. You don't deal with my customers, and you don't run my marketing. So just because you own the building that I work in doesn't mean you run my business. And that's what this award is about. Who runs the best business, you see? So if you're done, my friend, then I would love to go back to my soon-to-be award-winning business. Jay, my love. And what was your title again? Sure. Oh, the new salon proprietor. What are you, like, number five, six, something like that? Well, welcome to Madam Mabel's Tables. How may I be of service? Madam Mabel's Tables? <laughs> hey, why are you dressed like that? Yeah, who died? My old business practices. I've been reborn, Jay. And these are our new uniforms. By the sudden change. Have you not heard? Madam Mabel's Tables has been nominated for an All Good in the Hood Award, baby. But I was nominated. Me huh? too. Well, you know what this means, don't you? Mm. Both of y'all going down. Hey, girl. What do you think of my new flyers? Oh, I like the artwork, but award-winning shop. 
Aren't you being a little overly presumptuous? You've only been here for two weeks, girl. Excuse you, I'm speaking it into existence. Oh, that works? Well, let me give it a try. I need a race. Whatever. Hand these out to your customers. <laughs> and sure. Uh, Jay. Now, I know you got time to walk over here from your empty shop, but as you can clearly see how busy I am. Now, what do you want? Uh, I just came by to give you your mail. The postman accidentally delivered it to my shop. Uh, listen, Cheryl, um, I may have been a little harsh earlier. Save it, Jay. I, I know you still want me to drop out. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, look, I, I realize that you work very hard and you deserve the nomination. So, may the best shop win. Glad to see you're giving me my props. All right, Miss Watkins, let's get you from under that dryer, okay? What in the Shrek? <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong with my hair? You look fabulous. But um, I think something might have happened to the shampoo, and we can fix it, I promise. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, give me a mirror. Mm -hmm. You know you got something to do. No, me? No, not at all. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, not that it's any of my business, but someone should report that to the Better Business Bureau. <laughs> Reporter? I want to rave about it. Huh? <laughs> this green is fierce, baby. <laughs> fierce? Yes, took 10 years off of me. And it matches that green dress I'm going to wear tonight. It, it, it does? Yes. Ha! <laughs> your little plan just blew up in your face. Boom! <laughs> Who wants green hair? Smitty, what the hell is that funky smell? The toilet's backed up, Jay. It's bad. It's real bad. Can you fix it? I'm trying, Jay. I'm trying. If you don't like what I'm doing, then put on the suit and do it yourself. Carry on. <laughs> Damn. It smell like baboon ass up in here. How you know what a baboon's ass smell like? I used to have a summer job at the zoo. Oh. Look, Jay, I'm glad I caught you, man. I gotta talk to you about something. Look, man, I, I can't even think with this nasty smell. Sure. I found clogged up the toilet. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, help! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, what? That, a ham hock? Yeah, smell like it's two weeks old. You know what? The only person I know who has access to a ham hock that big. Mabel. Hello, Mabel. Well, if it isn't the competition. Table for two? There's a wait. Ah, no thanks. We're not staying on. Yeah, we just came by to let you know that we're dropping out of the All Good in the Hood Awards. Oh, really? Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. in it. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's for the best anyway. Uh, you two never stood a chance to win against Madame Mabel's tables. I don't know what you're thinking about in the first place. Yes. Oh, 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 no. Hey, that's one on my plate, too. Oh, is that another one? Oh, There's two on my plate. What if I do? I can fix this. Yeah, maybe I, I should call it. the exterminator. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Where am I going? <sighs> This ain't nothing a can of roach spray or oven cleaner can't fix. Yeah. Oh, Mabel, this is terrible. Somebody can call the Board of Health on you. You gotta fix this. Yeah. You two are behind this. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. no. But, but I do have a little tip for you. Yeah, maybe you should get out of the diner business and open up a, a few roach motels. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sir Roachalot. Sir Roachalot. Roach Roachalot. Okay. <laughs> No, that's all right. This, this is what y'all want to do? Roach. Yeah, you don't know where I'm from. This is how y'all want to do it. You think I'm scared of a roach? I ain't scared of no roach. Yeah, come on, baby. Ow! Ooh. Hey, Jay, you got a sec? <laughs> What is it, Kenny? I, I am so tired, man. 
this whole All Good in the Hood award, it, it's harder than I thought it would be. Well, you know what they say, anything worth having is worth working hard for, huh? Yeah, well, I'm not trying to hear your stupid logic right now. <laughs> Where did you get that nonsense from anyway? Hey, you always say that. Well, I must have phrased it different. Uh, listen, um, speaking of hard work, you've been hardly working lately. I was there today. I was trying to talk to you. Yeah, well, uh, I thought you were just there to borrow some money. Well, uh, that too. I was thinking about going to community college. Is that right? Yeah. You mean like night school or uh, on the weekends? Uh, yeah, and, and some weekdays. You mean during shop hours? Don't you think that'd get in the way of you working there? Uh, a, a little bit, but I was thinking about getting a business degree. I thought it would be an entrepreneur. <laughs> uh, Bill Gates, Zuckerberg, they didn't finish college. Hell, I'm a successful entrepreneur. I didn't go to college. What about the degree you have hanging up in the hall? Oh, I, I stole that from my doctor's office. No, uh, uh, listen, son, you don't have to waste your time. Uh, the shop is going to be yours once I retire. <sighs> Yeah, about that. No. Huh? Oh. Whoa. Oh, you're too good for the barbershop. No, I never said that. Well, you didn't have to say that. The, the fact that you want to get your own business, well, <laughs> that shows me. Listen, son, I, I don't mind you going back to college. I just thought that you liked working side by side with your old man. Yeah, but I can't work next to you for the rest of my life. I'm trying to build a life of my own. I thought if anyone would understand that, it would be you. Oh, I understand. That you're ungrateful. I'm um, what? Yeah. Look, Jay, I, I appreciate all the love you show me working at the shop, but you're being selfish. Selfish? I scoff at that. <laughs> Look, man, I put money in your pocket. You yeah? know? Uh, a roof over your head. I, hell, I introduced you to the Sutherland twins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they was fine. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Wait up, Jay, come on. What? You're missing the point. Go. Oh. Well, maybe I was too dumb to get the point because I didn't go to college, junior college boy. Hey, how's it going, Jay? That bad, huh? <laughs> it's Kenny. <laughs> he thinks he's too good for the barbershop. He wants to go to college. He told me about that. We had a good talk about it. I told him about the farm. What farm? Exactly. What farm, Jay? Damn you, college! He's just being ungrateful, you know? And with everything we got going on with the All Good in the Hood Awards, <laughs> he's gonna leave us hanging. Maybe he just read to stand on his own two feet. That's a bunch of crock. He's just being spoiled. I would have loved to follow in my father's footsteps. Didn't your father go to prison? Yes. But if he got paroled, he would have started his own business, and I would have been right there. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I hope you're happy, Jay. Huh. Now what I do? Mm -mm. Don't act coy. You know we got disqualified from the All Good in the Hood Awards. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't, but uh, it's the best news I heard all day. <laughs> Apparently, the green hair debacle didn't become the trending topic we would have liked. Wait, you ain't gonna believe this bull sugar. I got disqualified from the All Good in the Hood Awards. <laughs> uh. Uh, because of the roaches? No, I tracked down one of the judges and tried to seduce him. Oh, I don't know why you think of that. <laughs> well, it's just as well. Both of you would have lost against me anyway. <laughs> Not according to this letter we got in the mail this morning. Huh? Apparently, we've been disqualified from the All Good in the Hood Awards, too. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. this how could i be disqualified well it's not because of your charming personality because you never had one and you have as much class as a summer vacation oh, I'm no class class class. wait a minute ain't none of y'all worth a damn 
Oh, see, maybe we don't even gotta go there. It's my going on? Oh, what do you want, Mr. Junior College Boy? That's a low blow, Jay. Yeah. What are you guys arguing over anyway? I can hear you guys down the street. We all got disqualified from the All Good in the Hood Awards. Yeah, and I worked really hard for that nomination. I did too. Me three. I didn't even want this damn award. Now y'all got me all worked up. Man, listen at yourselves. You guys sound like a bunch of big babies. The only reason you guys got nominated is because I nominated you all. And I wouldn't have done it if I'd have knew you were going to act like a bunch of spoiled brats. I'm not a brat. Wait a minute. Can he... You got us nominated? Yeah, that's right. I thought it would bring more business to all of us. But you guys are acting all childish, trying to sabotage each other. And now you guys got yourself disqualified. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Shame, shame, shame. Y'all ought to apologize to each other right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Cheryl, for putting the green dye in your shampoo bottle. And I'm sorry, Jay, for putting that big ham hock in your toilet. And we're sorry, Mabel, for the roaches. And I'm sorry, Mabel, for the idea about the roaches, even though we know that was the best plan of all. <laughs> I knew you didn't come up with that by yourself. Shut up. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry, Kenny, for being so upset with you going to college. And that was a real good business sense for nominating all of us. And listen, if you want to leave the shop and pursue your dreams of business, well, I understand. <laughs> and if y'all want to come for a vacation down to the farm, that's good too. <laughs> well, hey, look, I, I want to stay at the shop for now, and I'll just take my classes around my work schedule. Huh? <laughs> well, now that that's all settled, why don't we mosey on over to Mabel's tables and have some of my exquisite cheesecake. Mm. <laughs> but if you bite into something crunchy, it's probably raisins. They got raisins in cheesecake? Wait a minute, you got a farm? I'm raisins don't have no crunch. Mm.